actually, we had a vlog the other day. I can say that on the. Oh, we're starting off? Yeah. So yeah, basically, when we were in Poland and Krakow during our pre-parties, we were, we were walking around trying to find some food. Then we did these, these um, uh, like food review videos about like Polish food. And we had this fantastic mushroom soup, which was completely different from my usual mushroom soup, but pierogi, meat pierogi, spinach pierogi. Yeah, I took the pierogi bar just outside the, the old town of Warsaw. So it was, yeah, 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 it was lovely. I was looking for it like thoroughly on, on the map, making sure to go to the place. We are very happy, we love pierogi too. I live abroad, you know, and I miss pierogi every day because I cannot make them by, themself, by myself, it's so hard. Heartbreak. And, and after tasting pierogi, I can tell you that's heartbreaking. Guys, I'm here with uh, Malta, the busker, representative of Eurovision 2023. So yeah, we had some uh, introduction about pierogi and Polish food. <laughs> Guys, I must say, I love, I fucking love your staging. Can we drop F-bombs on this? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, it's like private channel, no worry. No, 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 Amazing. That's I fucking great. love it. Let's be great. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think it's the best staging of uh, semi-final one, okay. the most surprising one. What was the, who who got this, you know? Do you have some uh, creative director or so you find like, you were like, maybe, maybe... Uh... So what we do is every, everything like we, we work on is collaboration. Um, we had the thought in our heads of doing the staging um, before before we actually got to see it. Uh, so we, we, we're big dreamers and I think we're all visual um, visual artists in a way with that we see something before it, it happens. Um, for the Malta selection, we already had the mind of having four stations, mm -hmm. um, having the party section, having the bench section, having the car section, and then having the living room section. Oh, we didn't see everything, eh? remember? Yeah. Ah, yeah we didn't see only 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, so that happened in Malta, but then obviously we did need a level of expertise, someone with more experience than us, who came in and showed us how it can work. Basically, he materialized what our brains were telling us and it happened um, but yeah definitely what we're gonna have on stage now is basically a presentation of us and our creativity as much as possible we always trying to find the little things that we can infuse it with creativity and art because art is such such dear to us it gave us a home so basically yeah it's our it, it's basically a collaborative process we all come up with it and we all want to translate it I love it, I fucking love it. <laughs> but, you know, you have to be disqualified, I think. You have to be disqualified. There are more than six people on the stage. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Well, technically, there's a representative of more than six people on stage. But I'm pretty yeah, sure... Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure cardboards don't have heartbeats. Exactly, exactly. Actually, for something to be a living thing, it has to have the seven vital functions, Mrs. and the cardboards Grin. have none. So that's great. It's movement. Respiration, respiration, yeah, yeah. Respiration that so destiny is not alive there, no? That's Sorry, a paper. No. She's alive in our hearts, though. Yeah, yes, for sure. <laughs> and who who else is there? Because we saw only a couple of photos. I was like, huh, I see destiny. And? So there, are in, in total, there are six cutouts. Mm -hmm. uh, there is uh, the siblings Fabrizio and Claudia Faniello. Uh, there's destiny, Ira, mm -hmm. um, Glenn Vella and Chiara. Perfect. Yeah, we, I cannot see it like all, you know, because uh, but then we have to wait till uh, the first rehearsal. We see it on 8th May, so still okay. a couple of days. Uh, I would like to ask you about your own party. What your perfect party would be like? Of course, with these uh, cute hats, which saved my hair, I think, <laughs> today. I think for me, my perfect party would be my boys, their fiancés, girlfriends, my fiancé, just our dogs on the beach, just relaxing, having fun together, you know, and just, just sharing another moment, you know, of the many moments we have shared for the past six months, especially, it has been absolutely fantastic. That's, that's my kind of party. I love listening parties when, like, an oh. artist uh, releases an album. I don't do, get to do it much, but I love it when an artist releases an album and I get to just watch, uh, hear it with someone with me and just analyze it thoroughly. That's mm -hmm. a party which I l always look forward to, but I don't get to do much. Good music for sure. I mean, this. I mean, the, the top priority for me. Obviously, good company. Uh, yes, those are the two elements. 
I agree with you. With, with you all. For me, music is uh, is the number one uh, on the party. Question, which I ask to, which is asked to all the Eurovision contestants: If you have to, but you really have to give up your song, yes, and take another one from this year Eurovision Song Contest, what would it be? So I think we have to answer individually for this. Yes, Is that definitely. Fine? Okay. Yes. So <laughs> for me, it has to be Luke Black from mm -hmm. Serbia. So it's it's a song that um, uh, represents what I look for uh, in a song, and even the style. It, it's something that I listen to. Um, um, part, so it's a song that I listen to. Similar songs on my, on my Spotify playlist. It represents my Spotify playlist. So I would I'd definitely go with his. Mm -hmm. I have to go with Burning Daylight from the Netherlands. Oh. Yeah, it is very close uh, to what I usually do as a solo project. Mm -hmm. And getting the opportunity to work Dun with Duncan Lawrence would be great. Yeah. I would love to convince uh, Marco Mengoni to let me solo on that song. So, uh, Italy for me. But you look a little bit like him, eh? Wow, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a compliment. <laughs> Versace, take note. <laughs> I hope it's recording because they are looking on our telephone like something is happening. But I hope it's. <laughs> I hope everything is okay there, guys. Okay. Ooh, don't go. Uh, last, uh, last question. Uh, you have now goldfish or the Aladdin. You can, you know, rub it okay. <laughs> and have one wish. What would it be? Also separately. Twenty revision. <laughs> I think rather than win your vision is to um, assert ourselves in the music industry and keep on and having the enough support to continue making music um, with with obviously a return. Fine. An opportunity to have the two boys for the rest of my life in the same band and an opportunity for that band to create a legacy together. Great. Yeah, I wish you that, guys. And uh, of course, I wish you to win Eurovision. But first, let's just go to final and then yeah. let's win Eurovision. Yeah. <laughs> Kisses for the Polish viewers from uh, Malta. Please, send pierogi. Uh, <laughs> send pierogi. Address, yeah, address later. <laughs> Thank you, guys. It was great chatting to you. Of, of course, good luck. Thank you. And just enjoy. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Bye. <laughs>